So this is such an exciting day, the grand opening celebration of the Al C. Barber Day Center and Keyswood Emergency Shelter. You know, for myself, I started in this facility 21 years ago as a recreation supervisor, and it was at that time when I got to learn the stories of the people that we serve, and I realized that they're no different than you and I. They just need some help at a critical point in their life. So to be here today with all these people that have come out to celebrate this exciting endeavor is just so amazing for me to be part of right now. Today was a special day. We heard from Commissioner Sam Roberts. He's the Commissioner of the Office of Temporary Disability Assistance, and he had an amazing announcement. This is a tremendous important resource for homeless single adults in Syracuse and will allow the rescue mission to expand its life-changing work by increasing the capacity to serve more individuals. The project was made possible in part by a 3.4 million dollar grant that Alt Otada's Homeless Housing and Assistance Program has already assisted members of this community. This is a great progress but the work, the work is not done. On behalf of Governor Cuomo, I'm proud to announce that the state has secured an additional $8 million for the rescue mission. All right, everybody should step up and try to be like the rescue mission and provide services to the, to the most neediest folks. Everybody can be down. What, what separates us? From them, I mean, it could be a week, it's paychecks, it could be two. So again, I just encourage people not to look down on people. Always give a person a hand out and a hand up. I am so excited about this. What we're seeing here today, I don't know how they, the contractors, did what they did. This was a gymnasium. And now it's a facility, a wonderful facility, to expand the work of the mission here and uh, to see the numbers of people that we'll be helping throughout the years to come. Sometimes you have to look back to see how far you've come. I look back just a year ago, last August, I was here with a bunch of students that were doing a day of service and we were working in this gym, what was a gymnasium, emptying it out, throwing equipment out. And here it is just over a year later, 13 months later, and we have this beautiful building here. It's, it's awesome. This new facility is absolutely outstanding. The dignity it provides, the options it provides, the services, are really something and I'm really proud to be uh, a part of this grand opening. If you were to walk through these doors and you've lost all hope and have no clue what's going to happen in life or feel that you've hit rock bottom, you would come in and you would probably say, is this for me? Is this for me? And the answer is, is yes, regardless of where you are in life. Um, God has definitely met the need. Walking through this building, it really speaks to the dignity that will be provided to people who are experiencing homelessness locally. I'm really excited about women coming in and being sheltered here as well. I think that's a huge improvement. I actually think the Rescue Mission of Syracuse is, is really a leader uh, in the country in terms of how to do this right. Uh, even before this building was built, I've, I've made a couple trips up here and just think the team, the staff, the leadership really knows what they're doing to bring respect and dignity to those who are struggling. As I walk through the facility, things I'm hearing from people on the tour is they're blown away by just how open it is, how much light there is, the sense of optimism that people have, and they're seeing all the different components of the day center and the shelter working together. So folks will have access to mental health services, physical health services, employment and education resources. They'll be able to work out in the fitness center. Also gonna be offering life skills and activities that they can do for financial literacy. People are really excited about what's going on. And as we move forward, I'm inviting you to come down to the rescue mission and see how we're changing lives, see how we're helping people move forward to their highest level of independence.